Number one, put God first. Denzel Hayes Washington Jr. was born on December 28, 1954 in Mount Vernon, New York. He is the middle of three children of a beautician mother, Lenis, from Georgia and a Pentecostal minister father, Denzel Washington Sr. from Virginia. After graduating from high school, Denzel enrolled at Fordham University intent on a career in journalism. 40 years ago, March 27, 1975, it was 40 years ago, uh, just this past March. I was flunking out of college. I had a 1.7 grade point average. I hope none of you can relate. <laughs> I had a 1.7 grade point average. I was sitting in my mother's beauty shop. They still call it beauty shop now? What they call it now? Yeah, I was sitting in the beauty parlor. I was sitting in my mother's beauty parlor and I'm looking in the mirror and I see behind me this woman under the dryer. And every time she looked up, she every time I looked up, she was looking at me, just looking me in the eye. And I didn't know who she was, and I said, you know, she said, somebody give me a pen, give me a pencil, I have a prophecy. March 27, 1975, she said, boy, you are going to travel the world and speak to millions of people. However, he caught the acting bug while appearing in student drama productions and upon graduation, he moved to San Francisco and enrolled at the American Conservatory Theater. He left ACT after only one year to seek work as an actor. Called Wilma and she was in it, but we actually met about a year later at a party and, uh, or at a, yeah, at a party and I was taking her out, but I didn't have enough money to pay for the cab, I'd run out of money, so. His first paid acting role was in the Summerstock Theater stage production in St. Mary City, Maryland. The play was Wings in the Morning, which is about the founding of the colony of Maryland, now the state of Maryland, and the early days of the Maryland Colonial Assembly, a legislative body. We're happy about having a white person in the building. You're here on a trial basis. Well, I don't want to lower the standard of living. He made his first big screen appearance in Carbon Copy, 1981, with George Segal. Carbon Copy. Stop following me. Isn't the son supposed to follow in his dad's footsteps? I filmed uh, License to Kill. Through his 1980s, he worked in both movies and television and was chosen for a plum role of Dr. Flips Chandler in NBC's hit medical series Saint Elsewhere, 1982. Ah, uh, yeah, well, the, the nightlife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I had, a, I had an excellent time in Dallas. Uh. A role that he would play for six years. And they got it. In 1989, his film career began to take precedence when he won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for his portrayal of Trip, the runaway slave in Edward Zui's powerful historical masterpiece, Glory, 1989. If you boys just turn right on and you let us head on up there where the real fight is. Denzel Washington in glory. Washington has received much critical acclaim for his film work since the 1990s, including his portrayals of real-life figures such as South African anti-apartheid activist Steve Biko in Cry Freedom, 1987, Muslim minister and human rights activist Malcolm X in Malcolm X, 1992. Malcolm Little. No. That's the name of the slave masters who own your family. You don't even know who you are. You're nothing, less than nothing. Who are you? Boxer Rubin Hurricane, career in the hurricane 1999. Hurricane is the professional name that I acquired later on in life. Football coach Herman Boone in Remember the Titans, 2000. You think football is fun? Yes, no. No? Certain, uh, it was fun. Not anymore, though, is it? Is it? No, not by now. No, anymore. it's not fun anymore. Not even a little bit. Zero fun, sir. All right. Poet and educator Melvin B. Telson in The Great Debaters, I 2007. I am the darker brother. I, too, am America. And drug kingpin Frank Lucas in American Gangster, 2007. Nobody owns me, though. Malcolm X and the Hurricane garnered him Oscar nominations for Best Actor before he finally won the statute in 2002 for his lead role in Training Day 2001. You'd be dead by now. In 2012, Washington starred in Flight, for which he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor. He co-starred with Ryan Reynolds in Safe House 2012 
and prepared for his role by subjecting himself to a torture session that include waterboarding. The Oscar goes to I love my life, Denzel Washington. <laughs> In 2013, Washington starred in Two Guns, alongside Mark Wahlberg. In 2014, he starred in The Equalizer, an action thriller film directed by Antoine Foucault and written by Richard Wenck, based on a television series of same name starring Edward Woodward. All right, no matter what. During this time period, he also took on the role of producer for some of his films, including The Book of Eli and Safe House. Whatever and it may not be. worrying about the business. Learn how to act, become a better actor, and, and those kind of things. When he and Russell Crowe teamed up in the 2007 crime drama American Gangster, the Oscar-winning actors recalled Crowe's audition for a 1995 film Virtuosity, in which Crowe inadvertently spit on Washington. Mike Lee movie Crooklyn. Oh, that's a tough one. My mind goes toward preferred... I, no, I don't I shouldn't say. I like Crooklyn, though. In 2016, he was selected as a recipient for a Cecil B. DeMai Lifetime Achievement Award at the 73rd Golden Globe Awards. Then you know you're doing something wrong. Wait a minute, I'm not done now. <laughs> he lives in Los Angeles, California with his wife, Paleta Washington, and their four children. Probably him. Yes. Conversely, when the devil comes at you, maybe it's because you're trying to do something right. Tossing to you from over here. Happy birthday! Less is more for, for an actor. That doesn't mean you're not doing anything, but I just took that approach. Nurse, uh, Mrs. Uh, Zenvari, 302. She get her 4 a.m. Keflex? You wrote it. We gave it. I was playing this doctor on St. Elsewhere, and the executive producer, Bruce Paltrow, Gwyneth Paltrow's dad, allowed me to leave the show uh, three times during the course of the six years I was on the show. Those three times I worked with great directors, Norman Jewison, Sid Lamette, and Richard Attenborough. So if it wasn't for him letting me out to, to do these movies, we wouldn't be sitting here.